It's my great pleasure to now introduce Councilmember Marina Kubes uh, Kubestria. Thank you, Congressman. Your presence here today is another example of your great leadership. I'm proud to have served as Vice Chair of the Connected Cities and Communities and have, and have spent many hours facilitating the development of this plan with the help of many community leaders, mobility and smart, smart growth transportation experts. Our coalition is a broad one, as you can see. We are reaching out to collaborate with all the impacted communities in the region. One of the many innovative concepts that we explored was to rethink the freeway stops in both the north and the south end of the 710 corridor. The Pasadena community recently took the lead to do just that at the north stop and discovered new possibilities for connections, better land use, and smart growth. Our coalition has identified some initial opportunities for congestion relief along the south stop. And with the great leadership of Councilmember Huizar and Supervisor Solis, we are hopeful that the communities in the South will have an opportunity to further explore these possibilities. The package of solutions we are proposing should be further studied and take advantage of modern planning concepts such as community-based transit, safety and access for all modes of travel to connect people to their destination. It's almost a cliche to take note of the fact that Los Angeles County is in the midst of golden age of transit development. However, it's true and what wor worth noting, thanks to the vision of people like Aaron Ajaria and Mayor Garcetti and their colleagues on the Metro board. At the same time, many people in our community have declared that the era of building freeways within the LA Basin and surrounding valleys is over. It's just too hard and the impacts of new freeways are too negative. So where does this leave us? Well, since over 85% of the traffic that comes off the south stub has a local destination, it is not the kind of cut through traffic that the tunnel is intended to serve. We should focus on getting that 85% to where they wanna go. Transit can help, as can a variety of local street improvements. And unlike the deeply flawed light rail proposal in the EIR, which we oppose, we believe that the right route, the right kind of transit, um, can only come through a robust community process to determine which routes provide the greatest access to important destinations, connect to the current transit system, and do the least damage to the communities through which they run. Sadly, this kind of process did not take place with the current EIR. We, are, we strongly believe in the concept of great streets, which not only help traffic flow, but increase walkability and bikeability and actually promote stronger and healthier communities. Finally, by eliminating the proposed tunnel from our menu of options, we can we can, we will, uh, which will cost billions of dollars. Our plan frees up money for significant investment where it's truly needed, such as extending the goal line in both the north and the south, and improving goods movement between the ports and Inland Empire. These ideas and more are in our plan, and we look forward to discussing these important remedy options with all the affected communities. And now I'd like to present Mr. Michael Beck, the city manager of the city of Pasadena.